the champion. He is our most recent champion, Patrick, but he's not the newest because this is the second U.S. Open crown for Bryson. He has made his mark on the game of golf, specifically in major championships this year. We'll talk about the stuff outside the ropes here in just a second, but the inside the rope stuff has been nothing short of splendid. Yeah, he's he's been stellar. He's been a top five player in the world so far this year. You could argue a top three player, perhaps. The major championship results with the top 10 finish at the Masters after holding uh, the first round lead there and, and the runner-up finish at the PGA Championship as well, falling one short to Xander Shoffley. And uh, I, I mean, it, it's just so impressive the levels he's willing to dive into it, right? The number of stones he, he's willing to turn over. You think about all the different iterations of Bryson DeChambeau. I mean, this is the guy who was side saddling putting at one point in, in his professional career. That that seems like ages ago, eons ago that he was doing that and just using compasses to figure out pin locations and arguing with the <laughs> fire ant mounds and everything like this guy's story arc has been an absolute roller coaster and we're clearly at at, at a high end of it right now and for this post bulk bryson post mad scientist bryson to kind of piece it all together with the equipment right the battle of the bulge with his irons the crank driver like kp said having to switch that driver head out right before the final round it, it, it's really impressive and it's cool to see all his hard work everyone talks about uh, how hard of a worker he is, right? All the caddies on live talking about it as well. And it, it's cool to see all that come to fruition in, in a major way. Yeah. It's, it's so interesting here, KP, because through all of those iterations, through all of the different versions, the accomplishments keep piling up. We just saw it there. You know, uh, Justin Ray had compiled, uh, how many guys have won a second us open since world war two. And it's, it's Bryson, Tiger Woods, Ernie Els, and Jack Nicholas. Then you add in uh, a, a U.S. amateur and multiple U.S. Opens. That list is Bobby Jones, Jack Nicholas, Tiger Woods, Bryson DeChambeau. These are these are Mount Rushmore names, and these are the accomplishments that Bryson is is taking care of right now. Well, I, I think what it speaks to, and and this is this kind of dovetails with what Patrick was saying, is he his pedigree is is incredible, right? He, he, throughout all of his iterations, the thing that's been constant is his talent. I mean, I remember back, I, for some reason, I remember this tweet back in 2016, I think it was. And it was when he was playing in the USAM, or excuse me, in the Masters as the US Amateur Champion. I think that was 2016, right? Maybe 2015, something like that. But I remember uh, Tron Carter over at No Line Up saying, Bryson, he said, it, it, I, uh, I regret to inform everyone. I regret to report that Bryson absolutely compresses the golf ball. And I think that, I think what's so fascinating about Bryson is he's such a good golfer. Like he's not just, people think of him as this sort of entertainer, YouTube entertainer or long drive champion. Cause these have been different iterations that he's sort of purported and he has those things, right? But he's so, so good at golf and he's such a good iron player. His short game, I think has gotten a lot better. His putting is underrated. Like he, he just, the arc of him is that he's a great, great borderline generational golfer. And all the other stuff is bonus, I think, because, and I wrote this a little bit for a column on Monday, like he's such an, he's such a character and we have so few characters, right? You have a bunch of guys that are just kind of out there playing, trying to make a living playing professional golf. Bryson is an elite character. We just don't get a ton of that. So it's um, it's been fun to experience, to watch, to be up close to. And uh, yeah, he's, he's, I mean, he could go out and win three more. I mean, he, he could win five major championships over the course of his career and it wouldn't, it would not be crazy. Well, the, the entertainer uh, is also a YouTuber. That was one of the first things he said in his uh, winner's press conference, Patrick. He said that allows him to connect with his fans and get uh, his style of golf and the entertainment out. And he feels comfortable now being able to do that. And the reaction that he says he's getting is, is very, very positive. He was pretty clearly, in my opinion, the favorite uh, in terms of uh, fan favorites at, at, at Pinehurst. I mean, this is a PR turnaround at, at warp speed. 
<laughs> it, it is. It, it, and the first tournament I ever got lucky to cover was the 2021 BMW at Caves Valley. Caves. When the, the city of Baltimore, after Bryson almost shoots 59 on Friday, they're all behind him. They turn on him like this snap of a finger and, and you know who they're cheering for of all people patrick cantley they, they chose patrick cantley over bryson dechambeau and, and that was probably one of the low points i would say for bryson dechambeau's relationship with the fans he wouldn't talk to the media at all his manager wouldn't let him after uh he loses that epic playoff to cantley he almost charges a fan in the gallery for barking at him it it really doesn't get much lower than that. And then just three years later, not even, he is the fan favorite at the PGA Championship and at the US Open. You have guys at the Masters telling him that they appreciate what he does online. I'm, I'm sure KP got a lot of those comments <laughs> as well at the US Open this week uh, with with his Twitter game. And it just goes into the story arc of, of the different iterations of Bryson. And this one is someone who knows himself. He's very sure of himself. He's matured a, a ton over those years. I think we tend to forget with these professional athletes that, you know what, they're humans. And a lot of them are kind of kids in their mid twenties trying to figure things out. And now that he's 30, he's certainly figured out who he wants to be and who he's comfortable being. And that's translated not only off the golf course with all the YouTube stuff. I can't believe I just called it the YouTube, uh, but it also helps you inside the ropes, right? In the biggest moments in the game, like it, like it did this past Sunday. It is fascinating, KP, because with his game, he's bouncing back and forth to a bunch of different stuff. I mean, it is easy to remember when Bryson was yelling at cameramen for being too close to him. Now he's fist pumping them and, and covering the lens very cutely. Is that a word? I don't know if it is. But then, you know, he goes from smashing himself in the face with a rope and blaming it on everybody else to stopping during rounds and signing autographs and letting everybody touch the U.S. Open trophy. Is this, is it fabricated or is he just grown? Is he evolved? Like what is happening here? Well, I think it appears fabricated, right? It appears to be like this bit. And I think that I, I wrote about this on Monday as well. If Tony Finau did laps around 18 with the trophy or Patrick Cantlay or Xander or John Rahm or anybody else, you'd be like, this is so inauthentic, right? This is so dumb. What are we doing? And with Bryson, it's, it's still goofy. Like it, you, you can't do that and it not be goofy. But I also think it's a, I think it's kind of endearing because I think that he deep down is actually a fairly sweet and kind hearted person. I don't think he has like ill intentions. I think, I think some of it is like he has experienced what it's like to be the outcast, like, like Patrick outlined there. And he doesn't want fans or anybody around him to feel like that. And so he, in his own weird, goofy way, kind of, brings people in and lets them touch the trophy and dances with them after he wins and points to the crowds and fist. I mean, it, it, it's all, I, I started calling him the big thespian this week because it was just so theatrical and like, he it was, he was crazy. But I, I, I don't, I think it's like somewhat sincere, even though it, it can come across as incredibly insincere in the moment. 